This one is like my love. But this one is also my love too. Excuse my current situation in this room. This is kind of like a bedroom, but kind of also a storage room at the same time. So, oops. But I did go shopping a little bit and it's not for like my usual luxury kind of content. It's actually more for like cutesy things. So I did get this like little hair clip. So inside this little bag here looks like a sandwich bag, but it goes to a really cutesy shop. So let's start with this one. This one is like a little hairband and it's just really, really like this really intricate scrunchie. I love wearing scrunchies because they just, they just complement really well and it looks really cute. And then I got another one where it's like more of a mesh, but look at this really cute bow. And then it's got like a little dangly little pearl over here. So cute, so girly. And then I got this little clip and I thought this was really cool. This is like $29, so it's really cheap. It's just this nice bow, really simple. And when you put it on, it just looks really cute. And because I don't have ear piercings, usually it's quite tricky to find like good earrings. So I've always bought like these... DIY kit so I always created my own earrings and let me just show you one that I made earlier because remember that Chanel packaging and they have these little charms in there and those charms they're made of metal it's not plastic and I converted them into earrings because they really look like costume jewelry when you do convert them. This is my travel jewelry pouch it's a bit scratched up because I travel with it so much sometimes things happen and I have two pairs of earrings that I brought with me to Hong Kong so usually you get like this main big charm and then there's this little extra button CC but I converted them into these really nice clip-on earrings because I don't have ear piercings and it's really hard to find good clip-on earrings and look at that isn't that cute? And I have another one here. So it's just a nice dangling Chanel number no. 5 bottle. And I really like wearing these out. Super lightweight. And I just, it's just so pretty. And then another one that I have is the button. So I converted them into these loop looking earrings. So it's just this like little snap closure. Hey, look at that. So cute. It's just a little nice dangly. This one is more subtle, whereas this one is a little bit more louder and more wild, I guess. That is one way to get luxury earrings without ear piercings. But I do know that more and more luxury houses are coming out with clip-on earrings because maybe less people are getting their ears pierced these days. So other than that, I bought some really cutesy ones and these ones have these like spaceship themes and look how cute is that. It's got these dangly little bits and it's so sparkly. Really cute. I love that dangly little sparkle there. So I think this one's a little bit more subtle. So cute. I love this one. And then I got another pair of earrings. Oh wow, these are cute. Kind of gives me a little bit of Sailor Moon anime vibes. I don't know what this is for but it looks like they just attach any normal earrings on there i think i can reuse this clip for any other earrings that are studs so i can take this out i didn't know this so you see that i can pull this out and i can just take any other stud and put it in here so it's got this like little hole in there so that's really cool maybe I should look for some of these sometimes I just want to have some pretty earrings and all of the good ones they're in stud form and all you have to do is just put the little back on there and then you get the clip-on earrings oh my goodness because I saw some really really cute earrings and I might just reuse this little mechanism whoa these are cute i'm gonna get some more earrings from this shop and i'm gonna get the studs and reuse this little thing because this is genius and also the sparkles this is so cute i love that so this is a little cute 
cutesy haul and it's very ditzy and I just want to enjoy like my nice little mug of water with you. It was really cold in Hong Kong earlier but now it's warmed up quite a bit and it's just really really nice and also my family's all come over from across the whole world so this is like the first time that all of my sisters are all together except my sister's wedding but we haven't been back home in Hong Kong since before the pandemic and it's been such a long time so it's really nice to spend Christmas here for once and it's just really homely again because this is something that we usually do this is like our Christmas ritual so most of the time we just have a barbecue for Christmas because in Hong Kong it's a lot more warmer than it is in the UK UK I know it's snowing so much right now and I literally just avoided all of that look at how cute this one is this is like a little embroidered gingerbread man it's got my name on it and it's also like a little baker because actually my sister got this for me and I forgot that she didn't know that I spoke about this before to my other sisters and family members but um, there was a weird little theory that my in my previous life I was a French baguette shop like baker and every time I walked past this baguette shop in France, in Paris in particular, I always felt like there's this weird sensation of feeling at home. So I guess this is like a symbol of that. And it's really cute. I really like this one. And she bought like so many different versions of them where it's similar to our characteristics. So yeah, my previous life in a gingerbread man. Some people may be curious about what bags I take with me on holiday and I guess in this case I only bring about two bags I think two is like more of a manageable amount I don't want to bring like too many because you've got to have to consider all the luggage and everything and I usually keep it in my hand carry when I travel because it's just a lot safer and I'm always hearing like stories about people getting their handbags stolen from their luggage in their check-in bags so never 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 put them in your check-in bag always in your hand carry and I want to say that I bought two of my bags so this one I bought with me this one is the YSL envelope bag and this is the wallet on chain. It's just such a good size and it literally fits everything I need. I don't carry a normal wallet anymore because this is like my go-to. I've been using this pretty much nearly every day. Inside it's like just my normal wallet. I keep the cash in the back pocket and then it's got the card holders in there and then I keep like a lip colour at the bottom. This one is the Etude House one. This is my favourite. So it's in the colour 10 Smoky Cherry. So it's just this really bright pop of colour. And it's mask proof. It's still very strict here. You still need to wear a mask outside. So it's good to have a mask proof lip colour. And then inside we have like the front pocket where I just keep loyalty cards and just random little knickknacks in there like coins. But yeah, I have like loads of random loyalty cards for I think stuff like some... Japanese cosmetics, Etude House, this is really cute. It even fits my phone in here. So literally phone, cards, cash, lip colour, all fits inside. My phone is pretty big. I think it's the same size as like the iPhone Pro Max. I got the OnePlus 7T Pro and it all fits just very snug. And then I'm on the go. So this is why I brought with me. And the good thing about this is it can look very casual depending on how you dress it, but it can also look really, really dressy when you go out. So this is like one of the most versatile bags I've ever used, even though it's just a wallet on chain. And then the other bag that I bought with me, still in its dust bag, but I did take it out a few times, is the Chanel Classic Flap because I love the Chanel Classic Flap and especially in this color. Like, I, I cannot. And it's just this fuchsia pink with the champagne gold hardware. I still keep all of the felt protectors in there just to make sure that I store it correctly, even when I'm traveling. And then inside I even have the little insert in here. But I also have a raincoat just to protect it. And then it's just a really simple classic flap that I just love to take pictures with because this is the cutest classic flap ever in my opinion because it it just suits and it really gives me that nice 
like beautiful glow whenever I wear it because I think there's something about fuchsias especially when I wear lip colors it just gives that nice pop of glow pink is one of my favorite colors and it's not that light pale pink where it's really really hard to look after because I think if I bought with me my Lady Dior in the light pale pink that would be really really tricky to look after I am so scared of using that one sometimes it might be one of my bag regrets but this easy love it and it fits everything I need so these two I bring with me for this holiday and I have a very versatile set of bags I think a lot of people they also bring like just two of their bags and and I think when I went to San Francisco I bought the black version of the classic flap and that one is gorgeous 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 and then I also had the Dior book tote so different lifestyle but I think in Hong Kong it's quite dressy here and a lot of people wear like really nice designer bags when I walk out in the public. One thing that I notice more is that a lot of people wear the Chanel classic flap especially in the black color and in the caviar or the lambskin version and it just looks really pretty and sometimes it makes me think like I wish I bought my black classic flap with me. When I see other people wear it I appreciate it like quite a lot when I see it. I know a lot of people when they see it so much the opinion of it turns into oh it's too common and even though it's a really expensive common bag to have but I'm kind of glad that I still have this beautiful pink one. This one is like my love but this one is also my love too. Cute! Don't forget that you can still enter one of my giveaways for a Laneige skincare set. So you'll be winning this blue hyaluronic acid water bank set. And inside you get like these little minis. Such a cute little pouch. It's like deluxe size minis. So you can get like the cream, the serum and the eye cream. And you'll be winning this little baggie. Such a cute tote bag. So the link to the video will be up here and all you have to do is just follow the rules in that description box or I've got it in the pinned comment as well. And yeah, good luck. Time flies really quickly and I can't believe I did Vlogmas every two days. I know a lot of people do it every day but no way is my life that interesting to do it every day. And plus I kind of miss like doing more topical stuff. I've done a few so I've done about the Balenciaga situation which was quite horrific and I've also done about the AI arts that's been going around such as the apps like Lenza and then I went into a bit of a rabbit hole and went into looking at the AI influences so that was pretty interesting but let me know if you want to hear about any other topics I know there's another topic where somebody commented about um, Chanel being a part of the Nazi spy like she was promoting anti-semitism but I have a whole slew of opinions there and a lot of history lessons in there so I'm gonna be scripting out a video for that and another one is about the Victoria's Secret like past craziness about their body images about their models and how they were treated um, that's another video but these things take a bit of time to like research and kind of wrap up my opinions about them. I do have another thing lined up because I've had a lot of like reflection time lately and there were a few triggers when I came back to Hong Kong, especially like getting a few messages here and there and it was triggering about my previous relationships. Similar to my four part series about unfulfilled work, I think I might do a topic around relationships and what it's like to heal from like these kind of traumas if you've had a difficult relationship or you are struggling in one and you kind of want to see a little bit of perspective or how to kind of step out of the situation in your mind and watch it from a third person perspective and that kind of helps you to look at the situation a bit more a bit more logically and also what would your best friend tell you kind of situation because sometimes when you're in a difficult situation it's quite tricky to see 
what's happening and it's a bit of a mush situation um, so your thoughts can be a little bit hazy this is where you really need to surround yourself with people who you genuinely really trust um, you got to be honest with yourself on who gives you the most safety when it comes to being vulnerable at least for yourself just by having that conversation it helps you to solve a lot of problems and that's kind of like how you feel that safety net of being vulnerable but also being in that thought process that's very healing for you so that's an interesting topic that I can go through. Yeah, let me know in the comments down below. I know I'm asking a lot of things, um, but I think today I'm just having a lot of, like, just a thoughtful moment. I've had a lot of time to just think and ponder. So I am wishing you all of the health and happiness in the world. And if you want to see more of my video and vlogs, then check out this one over here and I will see you there. Bye.